I don't mind parenting. I don't mind it. But I know a few things about parenting now. If you have more than one child, you can't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite. I do know that much. If you have more than one, you can't have a favorite. But I also know that my youngest is not it. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything against her. I just know that if we had a ballot and everybody wrote down who they think my favorite is, if her name's on the ballot, just get rid of that shit. We don't matter. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's only because, like, my love is not unconditional. <laughs> and she's so mean to me. Like, so mean. Like, I even, I tried to see if I loved her unconditionally. Like, I did, I did a Simba test where it was 5.30 in the morning one day. Everybody was asleep. I woke her up. I said, hey, come outside with me real quick. We go outside because the sun was coming up. And right when the sun was coming, sunrise, I lifted her up into the sunlight. And I'm thinking, if I see this beautiful, like, picture in this vision, I will love her so much. The sun hits her. And I'm looking at her. And I'm waiting for the moment to happen. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, man. Let's go back to bed. I didn't mean to make your ass up so early. <laughs> and it's only because she lies and she's so smart, but not smart like book smart, smart like cunning smart, which is even scarier. <laughs> she knows when to lie, which is fucking, she's only three. Like, you know how fucking, that's scary to you know that the, the truth is an idea you can play with? <laughs> Like, the first lie she ever told me that cracked my head, she, I was a mark. She picked me out of the crowd. <laughs> it was 11.30 at night, and she started calling for me. Daddy, daddy, come here. And I'm like, what the fuck is she calling me for when she know mommy's in the house? <laughs> like, you just saw mommy. What the fuck is, why are you calling me for? Like, God damn. So I'm like, fuck it. I know if I don't show up now and be daddy, she'll call me John by the time she's four. So I'm like, let me... <laughs> Let me keep my title, so. I'm like, hey, daddy's here, what do you need? It's like, ah, I got a potty. I'm like, yo, man, it's 11.30 at night. You have a diaper on. The solution's right there. The fuck are we doing here? Like, come on, man, go to bed. But I'm like, we potty training, so I gotta be a responsible person. So I get out the crib, put her on a potty, get the iPad out, put it in front of her, and I sit in the rocking chair. I'm 40 now. The second I stop moving, I'm like a shark. <laughs> Second, my knees got a butt ass here, and I bent them. I blacked out. I don't remember nothing. <laughs> when I finally came to, she's on the fifth season of Gabby's Dollhouse. <laughs> and she now has downstairs toys around her. So I get so scared. I'm like, yo, because I know the downstairs toys mean one thing. That means she took her little naked ass down the goddamn stairs unsupervised. <laughs> saw the toys she wanted to get, grabbed the toys, took her naked ass back upstairs, unsupervised, and was playing with shit. And I seen him, I'm like, oh my God. If she would have fell down the stairs, I would have had to lie and say I pushed her or some shit. <laughs> Hear me out, I'll tell you why. If I'm crazy and I kick her because I'm mad at her, I go to therapy and maybe even jail. That's fine, that's fair. But if I was asleep and she found, my girl found out that I was sleeping, the baby found out that I was asleep, I could never sleep again. <laughs> if I just yawn, she'd be an asshole, where's the baby at? Come on, get the fuck on, okay, I get it, okay, I know. One time, let's go over it. She's, she's walking still, get over it. <laughs> So I see the downstairs toilet, I get started. I'm like, man, you got a lot of, you was doing a lot of fun. So I'm like, did you potty? And she told me to lie. She said, not yet. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck do you know about yet? <laughs> like, you don't know how to say tomorrow correctly. You don't have a to-do list. What the fuck you mean yet, ma'am? All right, you're stalling. It's time to go to bed. So when it's time to go to bed, man, I tried to reach for her, and she punked me. I did not mean to get punked, but she did it. I reached for her. She did one of these. I said, oh, shit, I don't want to beef. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did a jab step. I'm grabbing her. She's scuffling with me. And it's like, no. I said, hey, I didn't ask you a question. It's time to go to bed. She's like, no. I said, hey, I didn't ask you a question. Calm down. And she raised her hand. And I'm like, what the fuck? I know there's no way in hell my bundle of joy would hit me or hurt me. <laughs> And when I'm thinking this, I saw her hand twitch a little bit, and then my face is looking over here, and the side of my face is stinging, and my glasses are crooked. So I'm pissed now, because I'm like, this motherfucker swung, and it wasn't like she just, she didn't just smack me. I could tell she closed her fist on the way down, too. It was like, it was this little stank on that thing. So I'm like, all right. 
and, but my pride hurts more than my face, like, because my glasses are crooked. Anybody with glasses on know, if you're trying to, like, scratch your nose and your finger on there and somebody hit your elbow and knock your glasses up, you ready to kill that motherfucker right then and there. <laughs> So when she got my glasses crooked, I'm like, yo, I'm about to, I didn't drop her, by the way. I didn't do no crazy shit. I'm just like, yo, I can't believe she just fucking hit me. And I look over at her, and she's panicking now, and I realize why. She thinks she broke daddy's face. Because <laughs> she's never surprised me and woke me up ever. I've always had my glasses on, dressed for the day when I see her, so she think this should come with the head. So... <laughs> She bugging out like, fix it, fix it. Got the tears coming out of her face like, calm down, it's a teachable moment, just breathe, it's okay. I take my glasses off and say, hey, daddy can't really see that well, so I gotta wear these so I can see, like a cartoon character. She holds me in her hand, then she did some bullshit. She gonna look at him and say, eh. I say, hey, look here, you're half of me, you're half of my second grade, don't do this. I'm like, you'll, you'll be blind in a minute. Then the, then the wow shit happened. She looking at him, she grabbed the other stem with her other arm and just extends her arms. <laughs> And the joy she felt from the destruction she caused scared the fuck out of me, because she was so happy. And then she started just folding them back and forth. I said, yo, what the fuck? Oh my God. And like I said, I didn't drop her, okay? Because if you ever see the nanny cam footage, it's black and white, it's grainy. It might like I dropped her, but I did not. What I did do, I held her over the crib. I can't see that well, so I trust my other senses. I let her go. I listened for her. I hear her, doo -doo. That's head body, she in there. <laughs> I'm like, all right, she, she's fine. I'm done with this shit. I gotta, do it. I gotta see now. So I'm like, man, what the fuck I'm doing? I almost, I almost called my mom and late as fuck. Like, hey, mom, you gotta come get this girl. She's broke my glasses on some bully shit. But I'm like, I'm 12 for that. I'm not gonna tell my mother. I'm gonna tell her mother, though. Fuck that. So uh, <laughs> I wake my girl up. I'm like, hey, man, you gotta go get your daughter. She's like, what happened? I said, man, she just broke my glasses. And she chuckled first, which fucked me up. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> why'd she do that? The fuck you mean, why? I didn't challenge her or give her a motive, man. Help me out. Like, fuck. <laughs> Say she go in the room, she show me she don't care. She go in the room like, hey, your dad told me what happened. He's not very happy right now. He said, you can't have the iPad anymore. Why so much he and him on that situation? What happened to us and we, my nigga? Come on, what the fuck? I'm like, come on, man. I, don't, I ain't asked for all this. Now I got an enemy in the house I ain't asked for. It's like living with a Chucky doll, bro. This shit's crazy. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen, I close the fridge, I'm walking into the living room, and I see just half her head looking at me, and she scampers off. I'm like, this motherfucker plotting, I know what that means. <laughs> I was trying to get a house the other day, she had Lego blocks in my shoes and shit, I'm like, oh man. It's only a matter of time she gets, she got the, 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 the five-year-old Lego blocks, she don't got the good ones yet. It's only a matter of time she advances her attacks, she don't have tax and poison in no time. <laughs> I'm not about to deal with this shit, no. <laughs> I'm exhausted. It got so bad, <laughs> I did some research on child support. <laughs> I'm serious. Because everybody complaining about child support like it's so bad of a thing. I looked up child support. And I'm like, what the fuck? How are men so mad at child support? Like, you mean to tell me I could pay once a month and not be here? Please, give me the summer off. Come on, the fuck? <laughs> give me three months at least. This is crazy. 